Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Dan Gutman, and um, this is a special read aloud. This is different than the usual read alouds that I do every day, Monday through Friday, uh, two o'clock Eastern Standard Time. This is going to be different. I'm not going to read one of my books today, um, and I'm not going to read anything that you can buy, actually. So I'm not selling anything here. Um, but what happened was about a year ago, I was contacted by the Story Seeds podcast, and it didn't exist at the time. It was They were just starting the, the podcast and they asked me if I wanted to be involved. And they had an idea. And their idea was that they wanted to team up um, published children's book authors with some kids to create stories together. And uh, this was very, very intriguing to me because I've, I've always wanted to collaborate with somebody. I never have done that. I thought it'd be fun and kids, you know, they're more creative than grownups are. So I thought it'd be really cool to collaborate on a story with a kid. So I said, uh, okay, I'll give it a shot. And they sent me a story seed, like an idea for a story from a kid. And honestly, I didn't think it was that good. <laughs> and I didn't, think I, I didn't think I could do anything with it. So I told them that and they sent me another one. And this one uh, I thought was really interesting. It was from an 11 year old girl named Hannah who lives in Minnesota. And it was called The Magic Seed. And I'm going to read it to you. I'm going to read what Hannah wrote, which uh, intrigued me so much. It's just a few sentences, really. And this is what she wrote. She wrote, two kids, a girl and a boy, find a magic seed. They take it home and plant it, thinking it's a strawberry plant or something. Instead, it grows into a tree that sparks whatever they want on command. They don't use it often, and when they do, they ask for small things. They're not greedy. One day, an evil person steals it. They use it a ton, and for bad things. Eventually, they learn that there's a twin seed, one that will produce exactly what is needed to get rid of what the other plant makes. They've got to use this plant to get theirs back, but first they have to travel all over to find the second seed. That's all that Hannah wrote, okay? And I looked at it and I thought, you know what? This kid, Hannah, works the same way that I do. Because when I write a story, I basically create an outline for the story. And I, I use file cards. This is my system. You know, I, I just kind of brainstorm ideas. So, like, I, I might write on a, file, on a first file card, boy and girl find magic seed, okay? And that, that will be a chapter in, in my book eventually, okay? And, and then the next, the next uh, card I would write, you know, they take it home and they plant it. Okay. That's a chap. That could be a chapter right there. Then I'll take another card. I'll write, uh, it grows into a tree and that'll be a chapter in the book. And then the next card will say like, you know, the tree is magic. It, uh, you know, provides whatever wish the kids want. Okay. And then the next chapter, and I'll say, I'll say, uh, uh, they do, uh, they do little things with, you know, they ask for little, little things, you know, and, and then, then the, you know, every story has to have like a bad guy, you know, and the, the, uh, the mark of a good story, I think is when, uh, somebody wants something, but there's something preventing them from getting it. And that comes to the next chapter, which would be an evil person steals the seed. So, so I, I, I realized that Hannah works exactly the same way that I do. And I thought, hey, Hannah and I could create a really cool story together. So what happened was Hannah and I got together. She and her family came all the way from Minnesota to New York City, where I live. We got together and we talked about the story. We brainstormed a little bit and uh, we kind of wrote the story together or the beginnings of one anyway. And that's what I'm going to read today. I'm going to read to you uh, The Magic Seed by... Uh, by Dan and Hannah. And here's chapter one. You guys ready? Gather around your big screen TV or your laptop or smartphone or tablet or whatever it is you're watching me on. And I will read to you the beginnings of the magic seed. <clears throat> None of this would have happened if I hadn't picked up the magic seed. This story wouldn't exist. You wouldn't be reading it. Everything would have been normal, like it was when I was a little girl and my dad worked on the farm. But I did pick up the magic seed. This story does exist. You are reading it. And nothing will ever be normal again. So you can blame the whole thing on me. 
let me back up. My name is Isabel. I'll tell you a little bit about myself. I'm 13 years old and I'm in seventh grade. When I'm not in school, I like to listen to Green Day, read manga and research geography. I have two parents and an older brother named Felix who is in ninth grade. I could tell you a lot about Felix, but I'm not going to, at least not yet. Even though he is the only person who understands my hardships in life, let's just say the story about Felix and me is uh, complicated. We live in Akiani, a very small town north of Juneau, which is the capital of Alaska. Have you ever been to Alaska? It's very beautiful here with endless tall sheltering trees and snow-capped mountains. There are moose, deer, and elk running around. We see them all the time. One time, a big black grizzly bear came into our backyard and sat in one of our lawn chairs. It looked like it owned the place. We were all watching it from the kitchen window and freaking out. I'm too young to die, my brother Felix screamed. He's hilarious. Felix ran into the closet. At first, I thought he was going to hide in there, but he came out right away. I thought he was getting his slingshot or a bow and arrow to scare away the bear, but instead he got his camera. He took a picture of the bear sitting there on the porch and it went viral after he posted the picture on Instagram. It got a lot of likes. Anyway, you should come visit Alaska sometime. You could stay at our house. Hopefully there won't be any bears in the backyard when you come, but I can't make any promises. The only problem living in this little town is that there may be as many bears here as there are people. Without a lot of people around, there aren't a lot of stores and businesses. And when there aren't a lot of stores and businesses, there aren't a lot of jobs. And when there aren't a lot of jobs, there isn't a lot of money. And when there isn't a lot of money, people can't buy a lot of stuff they want, like expensive dolls and nice toys. To be completely honest, it's kind of boring here in Akiani. There's not a whole lot to do. I really don't know if my family is poor. What does poor mean anyway? It's not like I've ever gone to sleep hungry, like I know some kids do. We have stuff but we don't have a lot of fancy stuff that your family might have. I'm kind of afraid to ask my parents if we're poor because I don't want them to feel bad. It's not like we can't afford to buy those big candy bars when we go to the movies, but some families around here have bigger houses, nicer cars, and more stuff than we do. And some have even less. So I don't know. All I can say is my life doesn't look look like the lives of rich people I see on TV all the time. I mean, Felix and I just wear old clothes and hand-me-down shoes from our cousins who live in Anchorage. Sometimes I wish my family had enough money to get me a decent birthday present like a cool bike or a nice jacket with glittery designs and a fur-lined hoodie. Life would be perfect. Well, nearly perfect. There's this one girl at school who really bothers me. Her name is Carissa and she is in my class. She's really mean. One time she took my favorite book and cut it up with scissors. I'll tell you more about Carissa later. I could tell you a lot more stuff about me and Alaska, but I don't want to bore you. I mean, who cares about my favorite ice cream flavor, M&M, or what I keep in my backpack, manga? <clears throat> that stuff doesn't matter. Here's the important part. A couple of weeks ago, I was sitting in the backyard and reading a book I had checked out of the library. <clears throat> there were no bears in the backyard at the time, thank goodness. I was leaning against my favorite tree. The book was called When I Went There. It's about a girl who travels to a magical land called Flora that is filled with feasts and castles. Flora sounded like paradise to me. I had just finished chapter six and I stopped to imagine myself in the story. I closed the book and closed my eyes for a moment. I wish that I could live in a wonderful place like Flora. My life would be amazing. 
the ground under the tree was a little rough and I shifted my position to get more comfortable. When I put my <clears throat> right hand on the ground, I felt something small and rough. It was the size of a walnut <clears throat> and it had pointed edges like a star. At first I thought it was a bug or something. I peered closer to see what it was. That's when I picked up the magic seed. Okay, that's chapter one. Now that's what I, I wrote that in with the help of Hannah and Hannah continued a little bit with chapter two and three, they're shorter, but here goes chapter two. <clears throat> that's when I picked up the magic seed. I held it to the light to get a better look at it. It was light brown, but it had lines and swirls all over it in chocolate brown. It almost looked expensive, exquisite, that's the word. Anyway, it was pretty. That's when it hit me, the dumbest idea I will ever have. I should give it to Felix for his birthday. And that's where it started, right there and then. I wrapped it in a tiny gift box with a tiny bow. Felix was kind of into gardening, so I thought he'd like it. And that's chapter two. Here comes chapter three. So I gave Felix the seed I found, and he was pumped. He planted it. But then, uh, um, well, it grew overnight. Um, what? Yeah, it grew overnight somehow. That's when the weird stuff started happening. Felix and I were just talking under the tree one afternoon when he changed the subject to money and how there was never enough. I sensed he just needed to rant, so I let him. He eventually got to the point about how there was this new gardening kit he wanted, about how the Venus flytrap was so cool, but growing the growing kit was so expensive. But he audibly voiced it. I wish I just had the kit, he sighed, done ranting. Just then, something fell out of the tree and hit Felix on the head. What the heck, he shouted. Isabel, did you throw something at me? He accused. Um, Felix, I said nervously. <clears throat> Is that your kit? I pointed to the fallen thing. What? Felix says in disbelief. It is, he exclaimed. We looked at each other in awe. That happened, I said, to break the open mouth silence. So that's where we are right now with the magic seed. Okay, so um, pretty cool, huh? So the story of Hannah and I working together on the story, it, it became the first episode, the episode one of the Story Seeds podcast. And the reason why I'm doing this is because maybe you want to write the next chapter of the magic seed, you know, or, or maybe you want to start a story on your own. Or maybe you might even want to team up with a published children's book author. All right, well, here's how you do it. Okay, you go to the Story Seeds podcast. All right, I'm going to hold this up for you. Whoops, sorry. Go to the Story Seeds podcast, okay, uh, at, at storyseedspodcast.com or search for it wherever you get your podcasts, okay? And you can listen to Hannah and I brainstorming about the story, how we wrote it together, okay? Uh, and there's also a bunch of other stories created by other children's book authors along with kids, like uh, my friend Chris Grabenstein does one too. Um, and uh, there's lots of other fun activities, creative activities that you guys can participate in. And hey, who knows? You may even be able to appear on the podcast yourself. Okay. It's hosted by Betsy Bird, uh, who is terrific, by the way. So that's really the story of the sto how I got involved with the Story Seeds podcast. That's the Magic Seed by Hannah and I. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you might want to get involved yourself.